everyone, it's Annie Charlotte and welcome to my channel. I haven't seen y'all since yesterday at Queen Bee's concert. She absolutely killed it. You know, like, once again, proving why she is that girl. The greatest entertainer alive. So, yes. Um, by the time y'all see this, I will have posted all of my Beyonce concert footage. So check that out if you haven't already. And the reason why I've been MIA, I'm in Brussels. I'm in a whole new city now. Um, reason why I've been MIA is because while well, I was traveling and also because I cracked my phone. My sister and I, we were running for the bus to get back to our hotel and I cracked my phone. Oh, I barely got any footage on my actual camera. Um, so if you're going to see Queen B, you can bring a point and shoot camera. I will say check with your venue. I checked the Friends Arena in Stockholm and it said that you could bring a point and shoot camera as well as your phone. And you'll be good. And make sure you all of your batteries are oh, charged. I found a place that repairs phones and other um, electronic devices. And I made an appointment, slid through literally out within 10 minutes like i arrived at the bus station stopped perhaps at like 4 45 left at 502 when i made it inside he was speaking to someone so i would say that we probably started at like 5 50 and they have this thing where they're like within 30 minutes your phone will be fixed um and at first he charged me 139 and i have an iphone 11. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna pay that because like, if I tried to trade it in online, it'd be like, it's $150, $200. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna pay that. So then he said, if you pay with cash, it will be 110. I had 100 euros on me. So I gave him the 100 euros and he said, you know what? Okay. And I was like, oh, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Cause they speak French out here y'all. So. And it's awesome because those euros, I had um, my my man and I, we found like $120 in euros. So it was like 120, 140 in euros. One day we were like walking the lake, Lake Merritt. We randomly found them. So yeah, so I didn't have to come out of pocket for so repairing my past that point. I am going to, I'm trying to look for a store because I need to buy a backpack as well as a jacket or like sweatshirt and I would like to buy some shoes so yeah in like the central area so I have a lot of stuff hello everyone it's Annie Shalade and welcome to another day in my life okay so right now I am going to the bus stop and I am going to be going to this vegan bakery to get some, well not be vegan bakery, a vegan cafe to get some Belgian waffles. So I'm super happy and excited. Honestly y'all, like it's easier to just eat at vegan restaurants because you, you know, especially like when there's like a language barrier because you know everything's vegan. I feel like this is the square that has like all of oops, somebody's getting married. Somebody's getting married. That's cool. I'm like, <laughs> let me go. But the square that I was just in, I believe it's the square that they, you probably, if you go on a free walking tour, you'll probably end up meeting there. But having a vlogging camera and having your phone is so awesome because I usually, I would typically vlog on my phone. So now I'm, you know, I hope the quality's there, y'all. But we're going to go to it's like this African district. So we're going to go there and I was looking up to see if they have some vegan restaurants. So we'll get my homies in the bed. They in the back like they <laughs> Thank you. 
like I could I could really move to Brussels because of this, this section. Like they got hair stores, they got beauty supplies. They got beauty supply stores, they got hair salons, barbershop, they got food for your African goods. Like I really I can live here. They got the different fabrics. So Okay, and is that like, I'm Liberian, so I don't know like what conditions are. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, we got our African drink, okay, our ginger beer, our, well, our ginger juice, you know. <laughs> outside of the Royal Library. I believe this is what it means. Ah. So we're gonna go to this Belgium beer tasting and then we're going back to the hotel -y. Somebody just asked me where the Grand Palace was and I was like, you know, I was like, no, like, I just said Genesee Pa, uh, Genesee Pa, I don't know. I was like, I don't know, like, it's my first day out. You know, literally. <laughs> so, we're walking down the street. I just saw these strawberries that were literally the most perfect strawberries I've ever seen in my entire life. I was like, it looked like it had some type of like type of like glaze on top of it. And I was like, are those actual real strawberries how they look? Or did they modify it in some way? I don't know. Y'all tell me. I got are vegan if not I'm gonna just take them home and Nicholas will eat them uh, but I'm going and I'm walking back to where my sister is because I remembered that we didn't get Belgium chocolate so I was on my way back to the hotel and I recognized that we did not get any Belgium chocolates and went in Belgium I feel like the buses in the US are so big like the buses here they be on these like little streets like just zooming by and stuff and i be like dang like let me put my arm back before my arm get took i'm pretty sure this is like our last stop of the day and really that ends our belgium era so uh i'm excited i'm happy i'm happy that we came and I'm happy that, you know, we literally went to Amsterdam, we went to Stockholm, and now Brussels. So definitely three totally different cities. And it's so nice. Like I love being in the African district today. I just felt so at home. Okay, well, hey y'all, I am, you know, back to where I was earlier. And I met with my sister, we got some Belgium chocolate. She's headed back to the hotel now. I'm going back to the African district to get my mom some hot sauce because I was like, regardless if they imported it to Belgium, like we don't have these where I live, <laughs> where my mom and I live. So I'm, I'm gonna get her that, I know she'll really enjoy it. Chocolate, she's diabetic. I don't wanna give her chocolate, you know? So yeah, I definitely know that's something that she will enjoy and utilize. Hey y'all, so I got the goods. I have the hot 
sauce. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Dogs beef in every language, y'all. Um, so, I have the hot sauce, which I'm super happy about. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. I will not be in town for Mother's Day, but I'm just excited that I have something that I know my mom is going to enjoy. Since I've been traveling so much, it's, it's, it is increasingly harder for me to buy souvenirs. So I'd rather just bring back food, whether it's uh, some Lay's, like paprika Lay's, ketchup Lay's, hot sauce, chocolate. I'd rather just bring food because that way the person that I'm giving it to, they can't experience a part of the culture that I went and experienced. day in Europe for now Stockholm's absolutely beautiful honestly I would move here I don't care I, I would actually live in Stockholm I just feel so much at peace here and we are going back back to Cali <laughs> So yeah, we're boarding our flight from Stockholm to Sweden. I mean, to, we're in Stockholm, Sweden. We're boarding our flight from Stockholm, Sweden to Amsterdam, the Netherlands. So, yeah. I got the Heineken on deck. I thought you weren't coming till last till tonight. No.